first heard the term sidebar when I was negotiating the multi-billion dollar TV theatrical contract when I was an officer with SAG-AFTRA. And the sidebar is a sidebar conference in a court of law, a discussion between the lawyers and the judge held out of earshot of the jury. And um, in the spring of 2020 is when Michael told Archangel Michael, I, whom I work with in my, my psychic work, told me that I was going to be doing these readings for you guys here on YouTube. And now is the time. So these sidebars are these little conferences, short little tidbits of information pertaining to a situation going on in your life right now that's going to be my psychic channelings for all the 12 signs. And then we get a little bit of tarot on it. And it's just a little bit of a little bit of discussion held out of earshot of the people in your life that this pertains to, to give you a little bit more information um, as, as it's guided. So enjoy. Hello, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising. Welcome to your sidebar with me, Natalie, spelled N-A-T-A-L-E-E. -E. Your psychic download, what I'm getting for you is this funny little like uh, limericky, it's like, where's your magic mojo, Mr. Moto? I mean, it's very kind of cute and funny. I love Peter Lorre, one of my absolute favorites. I know what you're gonna say, and I absolutely agree with you, completely miscast. But for the sake of this psychic tarot reading, Mr. Moto, where's your magic mojo? secret agent man, you know, James Bond and private detective and Sam Spade. I mean, you're, you're Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising. You're, you're the slinky, slinky slink. So, you know, you do have Mercury retrograding in your sign. If you're watching this later, uh, this is coming out during the Mercury retrograde of October 2020. And remember, guys, this is one little detail of something going on with you. So this is either you've lost your mojo in your marriage, in your work, in your thing in your life. So let's just go ahead and take a deeper gander, ooh, a deeper gander for Scorps. It's a mojo issue. You're going to get your mojo. Ooh. Mm, okay. So you're conflicted. I feel like that's inner conflict. Uh, you might be, you may definitely think differently than people around you. You know, you may have different opinions and views from your family and friends and lovers. But you're the sign of conviction. You have your own conviction. You have your own, you have your own thing. You have your own, you know what I'm saying? Your own thing. Let's take a look. Let's clarify. Let's clarify for... <laughs> for Mr. Moto, Peter Lorre was in Casablanca. He played Ugarte. Okay, Five of Wands. Tell me about the Five of Wands for our Scorps. Ooh, fancy, fancy Scorpio showing up in your own reading. Look at you. Look at you. So. This is something that is very stimulating to your soul's growth. That's, that's basically it in a nutshell. Whatever you're going through, whatever pain you're going through, it is really productive. It's like coughing, coughing, coughing to get the phlegm up. That's what this is. You're coughing, coughing, coughing spiritually. You're spiritually stuck. And what's happening, the pain you're going through it's, it's the coughing that is like shaking everything and moving the phlegm up, 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 up to get out of your system. I know that's really, really gross. I just do as I'm told, though. I'm just, I channel what I channel, so. Now, here's the thing. Death is just, death is the, the reality. No one gets out of life alive. No one makes it out alive, so... Death is the more realistic word for for transform. Because for transformation to occur, something has to end. Something has to leave. Something has to die. 
So remember, this is just a sidebar with me about a made about something else, about some or not something else, but about something that has more working parts to it. This is one with me. This is one little detail uh, on, on part of a bigger machination. So whatever is ending, whatever you're feeling resisting and resistant to, and whatever the tension is about inside of yourself. Try to look at it in a different way and embrace what is no longer, embrace the deletion, the excretion, the, you know, the coughing up of this. Because once it's expelled, you don't have to be afraid of it anymore because I'm actually getting fear. Fear of death, fear of your own death, fear of abandonment. Maybe someone died and you're fearful of getting close with someone because you don't want them to leave you, abandon you. Getting fear from this death card, though. Definitely someone, your own mortality. Dare I get one more card for my Scorpios? That was dramatic. Let me do a little flipper dives. What is this? There's your mojo. Got to go through this to get to this. On the other side of this is a beautiful life. Enjoying who you're with. Enjoying what's around you. Enjoying what you have. Focus on what you have, not what's gone. Focus on who you have right in front of you. There's some alchemization, there's some transformation that needs to happen from some tension, negative energies, low vibrational energies. Is someone burning incense? It's not here, I'm not burning any incense. But it's a great idea, thank you. Maybe I will try that in one of my readings or something. Oh, I, I, I would keep going. I really would. I really would like to keep going. I'll just leave you, however, with this very, very clear message for you that your mojo, you might not be feeling your very best. You might not be feeling your very sparkliest. You've got to go through this, though. You've got to go through and dive into the tension dive into what is feeling very uncomfortable for you and what is feeling you know don't just try to gloss over it or tell yourself you're fine tell yourself you're okay tell yourself snap out of it tell yourself no you're a scorpio sun moon rising you've got to go through it to come out the other side it's just not going to work any other way you're not going to it'll it'll keep coming up again okay It'll keep coming up, it'll keep, it'll keep returning to you and haunting you. It will haunt you if you don't. And you want to get your mojo back. You want to feel good. There's something really beautiful right in front of you. You're not like able to see it or enjoy it. Or you could even be taking something really beautiful for granted. Or... The tension could be about feminine energies, fertility, um, love, relationships, lifestyle. Maybe you're not taking care of yourself. Okay. Scorpios, I will see you next Thursday. I will miss you. I will see you again soon on my Patreon. But if you're going to miss me, join me on Patreon. I'm doing weeklies and monthlies and energy shift readings and... There's a class almost every week, Astrology 101, Tarot Talk with me, and Practical Magic with me if you want to develop your psychic abilities. So there's lots of wonderful readings. And um, hop on, hop off, toggle up, toggle down. Try it for a month. The community is beautiful and welcoming. They, everyone will welcome you with open arms, offer you a little cup of tea, and um, root for you, encourage you. It's a really wonderful 
um, community that I have over there in the Artigan on Patreon. So um, otherwise, my dears, I will see you next Thursday for your next sidebar series. Many beautiful blessings upon all of your beautiful heads, darlings. Mwah. Thank you.